Microwaves. This is a World War II attempt to communicate using microwaves. And they found out some guy's chocolate bar melted in the microwave field. And they said, what happened there? And they did some more tests. And of course, the water molecule and other molecules common in food respond to microwaves. It vibrates them ferociously. And so you put food in a microwave cavity, the water content of the food vibrates, friction cooks the food. So you don't have to worry about it. It's not doing anything to it. It's not, not sucking any nutrients out or adding any nuclear radiation. Correct. Okay. It has nothing to do with radiation in the normal sense other than electromagnetic radiation. It's already light from the bulbs. We tend to use radiation in the context of stuff that would hurt you. So that would be radiation of high enough energy to hurt you. And microwaves are not in that category. So it's a certain frequency of microwaves that beautifully pairs with the water molecule. Mm. and it vibrates it uh, brilliantly. And so it doesn't work for completely dried things? Yeah, that's why if you put something that has no water in it, it's not really very useful. It's why it heats the food and not the plate. Mm. Uh -huh. If the plate gets hot, it's not because the microwave oven heated the plate, it's because the, the food's hot. Hit the food and the food. That's why you can uh -huh. usually pick it up at the handles. Uh -huh. You can cook food on a paper plate. That's oh right. Oh, yeah. It doesn't burst into flames. It doesn't burst into flames. This is crazy. What? You didn't choke?